Live from Linguini's base of operations, today we will be diving into productivity, my experience uploading photos and videos daily, a failed productivity challenge I did, and a quote about Mr. Linguini himself. So you're gonna want to stay tuned for the dough. See you on the flip side. You are now listening to Linguini's Dough. Alright, let's get into the first piece of dough. For the month of June, I decided to challenge myself with taking a photo for Instagram and making a video for YouTube every day. Yes, every I think there's 30 days in June. I don't actually know. It might be 31, but I'm pretty sure it's 30 days. So uh, I spend a little bit of time editing the photos and only a small time of editing the videos. I, I really didn't want to get burnt out or just put too much of a challenge that I didn't end up finishing it. And that worked out quite well. Some photos I edited longer than others. Some I didn't. It was just a mix of how I was feeling that day. Um, if you don't want to listen and you just want the short dough, uh, I've enjoyed doing it 90% of the time. Some aspects can be a little bit frustrating, but it's nothing that I find too horrible. It's just mainly that it's daily. That was the hardest part about the entire thing. Um, along with that is sometimes you have a really busy day and you're just not going to want to do it when you're having a super busy day. You just want to get home, relax, go to bed. But that wasn't the case. I kept it up. It's, I'm recording this as a June 26th, so I still do have to keep it up. Also, there were times where I just wasn't proud of what I made. Uh, like, there's just some videos where I just saw it and I'm like, or photos, I'm just like, nah, this ain't it, chief, this ain't it. Uh, some of the aspects I really liked about taking the photos is uh, how I enjoy taking photos. As much as I love video, there's something about photos that I just find very enjoyable as well. So that was a plus that I really liked, and it was something productive to do during the day. School's out, the only thing I have is work, and then whatever I do, which I try to be productive, doesn't obviously happen all the time, but this was a good way to keep me strong at being productive. And I still do procrastinate. Like, it's not like my procrastination has gone away. It just happens a little bit less now. Like, I get on the photo, and I start other things. Next thing you know, I'm recording Linguini's Dough. Uh, I now understand that I have some quality stuff to look back on. I know in a lot of old things, you, they're just kind of... Uh, you're just kind of guessing what it is. I know a lot of the stuff I did was somewhat quality, so it will give me something to look back on that still retains some quality to it. One of the examples is my, this is my first car, my Honda, and one day that will be gone, but this will give me just an opportunity to look back on it, which I find quite nice. Uh, I guess not much else to expand on that. <laughs> I haven't had the future happen yet. The future is happening. We're living in a pandemic right now. I mean, what else can I say? Uh, taking the photos actually did make me appreciate more of what was around me in a way, I guess. Uh, like the mountains were beautiful along with the clouds. My car that I drive to and from work uh, was something I, re I very much now appreciate even more. Uh, simple stuff I just found cool or just got at the time. Um, I know like, like taking photos of my engine to me, that was just like, why did I think of that before? And it made me appreciate my engine, try researching my re my engine a little bit more. Um, if I never did these photos, I might've not really cared to really look at my engine and figure out how to open the hood. Uh, I'm not that car savvy, but doing these photos was actually making me a little bit try to be a little bit more car savvy I guess uh, like I do want a PA system in my car but I mean it's a hundred dollars so I'm probably not gonna do it but <laughs> uh, but I did notice that the last owner I think so I think he tried putting a PA system in but I don't know I haven't quite figured it out again I'm still learning cars it could be for something else it could be the when I leave my headlights on and my car seats beeping at me 
Um, I also noticed that the speedometer was upgraded or changed. I wouldn't say upgraded. I might prefer the standard one in my car doing these photos. And it's just stuff like that that the photo photography has helped with. Uh, I also like that I'm helping build the brand for my Instagram account. I used to just have a bunch of random photos of Linus and really not much on my Instagram account. And I feel like doing this daily thing has very much helped my Instagram account. I the For family and friends that do follow me, they've been like, oh yeah, they, they've kind of talked about it or mentioned it or mentioned like asked why I'm uploading daily. And I think that's something nice that uh, I'm glad I'm doing it for. Um, like I enjoy browsing Instagram, but to me, I enjoy it more for sharing. Like I know I like the stories a lot, but with the photos, obviously I wasn't doing the stories very often. And that was kind of nice to be honest, because it's, it's, I'm keeping what I did instead of just showing it off for a day and it's gone. And everybody forgets. I know a lot of my Instagram followers just, yeah, they don't really care. Unfortunately, I didn't get very many followers from doing this. I was hoping I get a little bit more than I did. I got one or two, I would say. Maybe three. Honestly, though, it wasn't as many as I was hoping. Uh, I don't even know how I have 60 followers on Instagram. Like I, like I have some family and friends, but I don't know who the rest are. <laughs> There's some people just, I don't know. But I want to know like how I can expand my Instagram because weirdly enough, I do like Instagram. And uh, some of the things that I didn't like about uploading daily, uh, first of all, art is photography. And it's hard to make art when it can feel forced. It's why the school has a bad system. Uh, that's a whole nother topic. But in a way, I'd say learning is just a form of art. Or at least if you make art, you got to learn. But I feel like the school just kind of takes that away. Anyways, that's a whole different topic. I'm not going to go on that, into that right now. I just don't like the school system, that's all. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure many others can relate. Uh, sometimes I just felt rushed, like I was just accepting some sort of defeat if I didn't post anything. This led to a couple of photos to say, in short, oh, I already used this. I already said this ain't yet, Chief, but you know what I mean. <laughs> There's just some photos that I didn't like, you know? Uh, this also gave me less time to be lazy, which I had to do, which on those busy days, doing this gave me almost no time to slack off, which I was also busy a lot of the days that I did this. Um, <laughs> and I still am. <laughs> uh, overall, the photos was a good experience, and I'm going to retain some of it. I might not continue uploading daily but I might actually just when I see something I want a photo of and I'm like this looks good I'll probably post it and you know try getting some attention onto it who knows I might still do daily I don't really know to be honest that is for the month of July to find out I do have a portable camera bag and a portable tripod so it is my responsibility to take photos because I have the stuff to do it some of the things I really liked about the daily video is that in my house we have a lot of photo books and this is essentially an in-depth version of that. So it'd be cool to look at these videos as I get older. Um, yeah, it's just photos. I mean, they're good. They can tell a story. They can remind you of what happened. But in a video, I could be like, oh, I remember, I, I remember that day now. That was, wow. That was a bad day, or that was a good day. Uh, obviously, I didn't really film any of the things I did during the day. I just talked in my car, but I still think it'll be a good thing to look back on. Um, yeah, in my house, we have a lot of photo books, and this is an essentially, I just did that. Uh, I've always been trying to reduce my ums, so's, buts in my podcast, slash just whenever I record myself. And so far, this has helped the best with that. I kept trying to practice on my podcast itself, and that just kept getting me nowhere, honestly, because it's like once a month. And that doesn't really help you. So, um, uh, yeah, I'd like to, uh, yeah, a, uh, uh, so yeah, this has definitely helped. And I just said so, <laughs> ironic. Uh, yeah, and I, uh,
And maybe I shouldn't have made fun of myself for that. Anyways, yeah, it's just helped. Uh, oh my goodness. It's just helped to uh, help my vocabulary with, through my talking via camera, podcast, stuff like that. It's really helped. Uh, of course, I still struggle with it, as you can still tell, but it's better than it was previously. Just comparing from my first June video I did and the most current one, uh, you can see a huge difference in the way I speak and how much more clear it comes out. So that was definitely a big help. And I mean, I'm sure you didn't expect me to say this, but it has started to make me feel more comfortable around a camera. I could talk more confidently and stuff like that. It's, it's That's normal. You would expect that. Uh, again, like I said with the Instagram photos, this is helping my branding for Landini Linguini. I actually really like the idea of branding Landini Linguini. That's why we have Linguini's Dough, Linguini's Accord, and so on for whatever future names I might come with that relate to Landini Linguini. There's just something I really like about the name. Yeah. So uh, I noticed a good sign for my YouTube channel is after watching one of my videos from the June series is you see more of my June videos suggested. I believe I've seen my podcast suggested on the sidebar as well, which that is really good for the algorithm. Even on my main channel, Sloth Motions, that doesn't have, that hardly happens to be honest. And it's kind of disappointing, like, oh, uh, here's my content, but it's not getting suggested on the right bar. And I'm sure it's, now it's not, ex now it's not, surprising because I haven't uploaded in centuries or done a continuous upload on that channel for a while. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad with that channel, dude. Uh, yeah, as writing this outline for Linguini's Do episode 7, June 22nd, it's June 22nd, right? I've gotten 163 views, 4.1 watch hours, and one new subscriber in this month. My total views is 264 and 9.4 watch hours and 11 subscribers. So I think I got that far in 22 days is really impressive. Uh, as well as I see a big spike when June hits on the analytics. I used to just get spikes when Linguini's Dough would release. But because of the June, it's just like been a whole spike. I've been getting different views on all the videos, different amount of likes, different watch times. I haven't spent too much time in the analytics, but definitely an improvement. I also enjoy editing videos, so this allowed me to get back into the flow of doing that. Um, of course, I may have liked some aspects of it. There were things I did not like about doing daily videos. Sometimes I really didn't have the time to make them, leading to a couple of videos where I'm not even actually in my car, and the whole point was to be filming them in my car. If you notice on the first episode, I'm like, this is not a vlog, this is just where I talk about my day in my car and I locked the door uh yeah sometimes I ran out of time and I could not do that inside my car um honestly I was describing a fairly basic life I go to work I paid I, I got paid I buy stuff I work on personal hobbies parentheses YouTube I sleep this is pretty much every day in this if you guys didn't notice if you were one of those people that watched all of them uh, sometimes I didn't want to share what I did. For example, June 10th is a video I really want to delete, but I guess that's the point of being able to look back at the recordings. So I am going to keep it up, but I hope it doesn't get views. I hope that it just pretty much just gets forgotten about. Um, honestly, I didn't really attempt the thumbnails because I just started, I didn't have a lot of time to make the videos and... I didn't feel like adding a whole nother step for the thumbnail along with the photo for the Instagram. So I just chose a frame from the video. I put that as the custom thumbnail. Uh, along as that, I didn't spend as much time as I could have to help the videos do better. I didn't do tags. I didn't do end screen. I did upload daily, which was good. Uh, the videos were not as high as quality as I would have liked either. I never did music, not once. And the videos, I mean, honestly, they weren't just, they weren't that much. They... The quality wasn't that good. Um, as I come closer to finishing it up, I'm honestly pretty excited. Uh, instead of talking about my day, what I want to plan on doing is just talking about different things I think about. I guess kind of like the podcast, Linguini's Dough, but 
and when it be a whole podcast about it it'd just be short little things like one time on my instagram i did a video about my thoughts on time travel and how it is real so i'd imagine more stuff like that and i want to just mess and see how much of a studio i could make out of my car without tearing anything down of course uh yeah funny enough i actually did want a minivan so i could make a studio in my car because that has more space but i'm still really good i'm still really happy for the honda accord i have um yeah so i don't know what else to say i guess that's pretty much gonna sum up the uploading photos and videos daily uh i guess i can suggest to try it you might not like it that's the truth uh, there's parts of it that I, like I said, I honestly didn't like parts of it. And I'm excited to finish those off. But there are parts I like of it and that I'm going to retain, which is why I would suggest you do it. Because you might be like, I don't know, it, it would get you to start on what you need to do, I guess. I mean, we all face procrastination, so you might not end up doing it. If you did challenge yourself to do it, you might miss a day and stuff like that. So... Whatever, if you want to try it, go right on ahead. I would recommend it. If not, oh, I mean, that's fine too. I don't really care. Anyways, I think that's where we're going to end this segment. So I'll see you at the next piece of dough. Wow, that piece of dough was really interesting. Moving on, we're going to mix the dough with the quote. You were standing at the center of a large building lobby, where the ceiling stretched up and up and up. You were smiling as you looked to the ceiling, which was a series of little windows. As the sun got the window glass, millions of tiny lights and fragmented beams of sun flooded the lobby. People commented at how wonderful it was, and you were truly amazed. You had created this incredible work of art, and you felt your pride rise in your chest. You had done it. I do not know who said that, because... Uh, they just said it over me, and yeah, I honestly don't know. But it was designed for me, and I honestly really like it, and I came back to it. It's close. It's a little bit. It's a couple months less than a year ago that that was said for me, and I never met the person. Well, I've probably met them, but I don't know specifically who wrote that for me. Um. So I just kind of want to remember this, have it somewhere aside from written in a Google Doc, aside from print it out on a paper, just somewhere where I've said it, I can analyze it more. Um, I actually made this quote onto an image and made it as my lock screen to my computer so I could just analyze it and see if there's anything more to it. Um, right now my interpretation is I created something that people were impressed by and, pr and I was proud of that. And, uh, but I do kind of believe this quote has some more meaning to it. I just haven't figured that out. So I'm just going to kind of leave it here. Maybe if I come back to it, I can analyze it more, but yeah, we're going to go into our final segment. To yonder yeeter. We are now moving on to our final piece of dough. to our last piece of dough i tried reading every day for 30 minutes before bed tried is the key word <laughs> as someone who doesn't read almost ever aside from school projects i decided it was time to read on my own this was harder than i thought it was going to be i was going to have it as the main focus of this episode but obviously if you've been listening since the beginning of this episode that didn't happen i made it about a week and a half before i just stopped doing it the first reason is I took 30 minutes before I went to bed, which meant that when I read, I was falling asleep and it's making it harder to retain the information. And there also are nights when I come home at 11 p.m. and I would find it nicer to just go to bed, but the reading was in the way of that. The book has some good info, but a lot of it I already know, which can make the book uh, seem to go on 
it was either that or the strange writing style I think it has. I'm not sure, but there was something that just made it hard to do this every day right before I went to bed because of the book's style. On top of this, I was doing the daily photo and video. You know when people say you have small goals and achieve those so you can achieve bigger goals? This would have been very helpful to follow here. I was doing so much between work, videos, photos, relaxing, that it made it hard fitting the last thing and... I also thought I was going to read articles and other stuff, but all that stuff just came out of reach. I just... I started slacking and didn't really do it. Um, I really think it's cool for people who read for fun and analyze what they read and don't just forget about it after reading. I think this is something I plan on working on for the future, but it won't have successfully happen anytime soon. Still plan on finishing The Millionaire Next Door. It just won't be by the time the month of June has finished. Also, another thing I thought it w I was committing to, I decided not to because reasons. I said I would only check social media about three times a day. That never happened. I check it way more than that now. Um, I mean, I'm, when I'm when I'm productive, I'm usually not on social media. Like I don't have that kind of craving. When I have downtimes, I just check it constantly. It's kind of bad. Or when I'm in my meal break, I just browse Reddit. I don't know. So, yeah, I still plan on finishing The Millionaire Next Door. It's just, it's going to be a little bit longer than a couple weeks to read it. It'll probably be a couple months, and it'll be slowly, one page at a time. I'll just be on those moods where I feel like reading randomly, which don't happen often for me. I just have to finish reading it by the end of the year. I made my New Year's resolution to read uh, that book, so I'm going to do it. It's just going to be harder than I had hoped. Anyways, I think that's all we have for us today, so let's move on to our outro. All right, if you have any ideas for a podcast, I would love to hear them. I might be able to talk about them. I think we need to know it's important that we have the we talk about the dough, I guess. Uh, I would love to have you as a guest if we could make the time and I've never had a guest and I'm sure it'd make the show a lot more interesting. So if you want to be a guest, just let me know and I'll have a guest. Um, I don't have Linguini's Dough on other podcasting platforms because I can't afford to put it on there right now. I'm hoping in the future I will, which should be the case, but it'll be a minute. Um... What is Linguini's Dough? This is where I talk about stuff I care about or just think about. Right now, I've been trying to somewhat keep a theme of productivity, explore new topics, and really just trying out post podcasting. I'll make 10 episodes and a season, take a small break from post podcasting, start in season two, and hopefully that'll be better. Also, for the month of July, I'm not going to challenge myself with a specific challenge, but rather just be productive. I'll see you next time. And the songs to credit are Slug Love 87, Go On Going, Sh Sharana Goes, Digital Memories and Witness. All of these are from the YouTube library. Can't wait to see you next time.